My name is Jürgen van Rijen. I'm a principal trombone player of the Royal Concertgebouw Orchestra. And we are here in Amsterdam, in the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam, in the conductor's foyer. We have paintings of famous conductors that conducted our orchestra. Behind us is the hall where the orchestra is rehearsing at the moment. And I'm talking here with Jan Janssen of the Coutois uh, company. Could you maybe tell us uh, how you came related to Coutois? Yes, that, that's very, very simple actually. I, when I studied, I studied, started studying in Rotterdam and my teacher had a very good relationship with Michel Bequet and his class in Lyon. And he invited him for some master classes. Then uh, not only Michel Bequet came, but also the Paris Trombone Quartet. And they all played Coutois and I was very impressed by the sound uh, of the quartet and also of, of the solo playing of Michel Bequet. It was, I was 15 years old, I think the first time I I heard him, I was in the preparation class of the conservatory and it was uh, the, the most pure, the, most, the best sound on a trombone I've ever heard. So that, that was the first time I heard the Coutois sound. But when I heard that they had plans to make a model which was more close to, to Bach standard or Edwards or at least like the, the American standard, I was very interested because I was always looking for something that has the, the solistic and the, the rich quality of the Coutois uh, yeah. to combine with also a, a, a big enough instrument to play in, in a big symphony orchestra like, like I do every day. So this instrument for you is uh, good enough to play in orchestra as well for solo pieces? Yes, yes, that's, that's actually what I, what I prefer in an instrument that I, I don't like to switch too much because an instrument is really something that if you, if you play on it a lot, you know it very well. And if you have to take for every gig or for every day, for everything you do, another instrument, it's difficult because you, you are not as close to the instrument as, as if you always play on it. And for me, this is a very all-round instrument that I can make big enough if I need it and make small, and not that solo playing is not always small, but if you play alone, alone with a piano or alone in a small chamber orchestra, mm -hmm. it's different than uh, with a big brass group in a big symphony. Yeah. And for me this is a, a, a good, good in-between. Yeah. So it's possible to, flexible enough to bring it to both mm -hmm. sides. To both time playing in orchestra in France or in Holland or maybe abroad in Japan or America, is it uh, much different? Yes, I think so. There, and I, I think that's good because it would be a pity if every orchestra sounds the same. It's very interesting that in different places and the different sounds of orchestras are not always specially because of the, the country, but it's, it's a combination of factors. The city where the orchestra is, the conductors that have been there, the hall where the orchestra plays every day. So in every orchestra there's a little, little bit different uh, style of playing. In Germany that's with the German composers, of course they both play German orchestras, play French music and yeah. press, but the identity is coming from, from their big famous composers. Here we don't have that. We have uh, the orchestra had a really strong relationship with uh, Strauss and Mahler, mm -hmm. who came to conduct the orchestra, who formed a little bit also the. So in that way we are a sort of German orchestra. But there was always also a lot of French influence. So I think our orchestra is a bit in between. You try to play every music uh, like like it should be in the country where it comes from. I like. Uh, very much to do all possibilities of the of, of, of the trombone. So I, I love to play in a great orchestra like this. It's fantastic. It's my main job. But the the time that's left, I like to do solo playing and I like to play in, in ensembles. And one of the main ensembles I play in and I, I help organize is the New Trombone Collective. We have organize our own festival in Rotterdam, the Slide Factory, every two years. Uh, we record CDs, DVDs, we have always special projects, things that we will not do in our normal professional life, but that we really save for, for the special projects with the trombone collective. Yeah. I do a lot of master classes all over the world, and I have, uh, I'm, uh, I think it's called International Visiting Professor in uh, the Royal Academy of Music in London, where I go three times a year. To, to do a masterclass like more regular. Uh, I'm going to record in the next few years two new solo CDs 
one on uh, Baroque music, on uh, original instruments. I did already one CD, it's called Sacred, and I want to make like a, a, a next one. And another CD I want to make is with uh, uh, solistic chamber music, so uh, it's more uh, modern, modern trombone and, and many new pieces written for me for trombone and a combination of a few other instruments. What, what does it make it uh, so special to play in this hall and in this orchestra? The special thing here is, is a combination of the, I think, of the, the atmosphere. It's a nice, friendly, colleagues atmosphere. There's a lot of focus on musicality and playing as beautiful as you can. Of course, every orchestra will say that. But uh, every time I come here, I have the feeling that people really, from every two, three notes they have alone, they try to make something special of it. Very important for us is the hall. It's one of the most beautiful concert halls in the world. Not only to see, but especially to, to listen yeah. acoustically. Another thing, of course, is the, the great conductors and the great soloists we get. Yeah. Yeah. We, we work with, uh, with to work with Maris Janssons or Haiting or Hanonkur or Meta or these kind of conductors. This is the best and most interesting people in the world. The tours we do, it's, it's great if you go on tour that you don't play in the, uh, a local theatre of a village next door, but you play in Carnegie Hall, you play in Century yeah. Hall in Tokyo. That's all part of the, the deal and that makes it something really fantastic to, to be part of such an orchestra.